What's up guys welcome to my channel as you can see today I am here with a PC build so the budget for this build would be around 1200 Canadian dollars or 70,000 Indian rupees so before we get started I want to tell you about the components I am using in this build so for the first thing the motherboard we are using Gigabytes B450M motherboard for the CPU we are using AMD's Ryzen 5 2600 CPU for the graphics card or the video card we are using Gigabytes GTX 1660 For the RAM we are using Corsair's Vengeance Pro RGB RAM For the primary OS drive we are using Kingston's 250GB SSD drive This is a SATA SSD drive We are not going for the NVMe drive But if you have the budget for it you can go for NVMe drive This motherboard also supports a one NVMe drive slot uh, for the power supply we are going for say, gigabyte 650 watt power supply uh, this is a bronze rated power supply and if you want to use some extension cables I am using some white extension cables for the motherboard connector so the cable management is easy so for the case I am using Beepfool's Matrix 50 case this case supports 4 RGB fans and you can use another 2 RGB fans uh, on the top of the case this is a very good case and I think this is one of the best cases out there uh, this case has a tempered glass on one side and a metal shield on the other side so let's get started So for this build we are using Gigabytes B450M motherboard. This board supports 4 RAM sticks, 2 PCIe slots. Four USB 3.0 and two USB 2.0 slots, one HDMI port, one DVI display port. This board also has a slot for NVMe drive, but for this build we are using SATA SSD drive. Now the first thing we are going to install is the CPU. So remove the 4 screws in order to remove the 2 brackets. Now pull out the lever on the CPU socket. Now take out your CPU and look for this golden triangle on one of the edges. Align this triangle with the triangle on the CPU socket and drop the CPU into the socket. Don't try to force the CPU into the socket. This can break the tiny pins on the CPU and you will end up with a dead CPU. Now pull back the lever down to lock the CPU in place and your first step is done. Now we will be installing the RAM. So open these two locks on the RAM slot for the both sticks. Now if you are using only two RAM slots, go for the grey slots on the motherboard. For this build, I am using Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro 16GB RAM kit. The RAM goes only one way in the slot, so just push it in and hear for a click sound. Now we will install the heatsink on the CPU. For this, don't forget to apply the thermal paste on the CPU. AMD stock heatsink comes with pre-apply thermal paste, but I messed it up, so I'm using this Corsair TM30 thermal paste. Just apply a big drop of the compound on the CPU. You don't want to over overdo this, otherwise 
it will affect the efficiency of the process. Now place the heatsink on top of the CPU and tighten all the four screws. Plug in the CPU fan cable to the CPU fan header on the motherboard. Now we will place the motherboard in the CPU case. Don't forget to put in the IO shield before installing the motherboard. Many pros out there do this mistake, so just keep it in mind. Screw in the motherboard standoffs and place your board in the case. Align it with the IO shield and screw it all the way in. Now connect the front I.O. panel connectors to the motherboard. Plug in the USB 3.0 cable into the USB 3.0 slot on the motherboard. Similarly, connect the USB 2.0 and audio cables to the specified slots on the motherboard. In order to connect the power switch, power LED and HDD LED cables, look for the manual that you get with the motherboard. Don't mess this up because if the connections are wrong, the PC will not power up. Now connect the 24 pin power connector on the motherboard, push it in place until it's all the way in. You might want to support the motherboard from the back side.
In the same way, connect the 6 pin or the 8 pin power cable on the motherboard. Now we will install the graphics card or the video card. For this, remove the back plate on the case for the output slots of the graphics card. Always install the card on the first PCIe slot to get the maximum performance. Just press the graphics card on the slot until you hear a click sound. Now screw in the graphics card. Connect the 8 pin power cables for the graphics card. We are nearly done with the build. Now we will install the power supply. For this, just supply the PSU into the box and make sure the fan is facing downwards. Now screw it in. So there we are guys, we have built a beautiful machine, so if you like this video, just hit the subscribe button and also if you want to win an Amazon gift card, just subscribe to my channel and comment what do you want to see in my next video. Until then, stay frosty and have a good day. Peace out.